about being a nightclub in Taiwan? Yeah. For sure. I have been to the uh, nightclub in Taiwan. I have been a good time there. So, hey, What's up to Hot Pot Howard? Oh. <laughs> Just playing. What's up, 24 Chef Mike? Hey, Mike, we at the Hot Pot. I got two of the fans. I got my man Owen in the building. Joe Wayne over here. Say what's up, Joe. Hey. Hi. So, Joe Ann and Owen, they uh, won the, the Hot Pot dinner with Hot Pot Howard himself. Have I been to nightclub in Taiwan? Yeah. It's for sure. I have been to hot, uh, nightclub in Taiwan. I have been a good time there. So, hey, gee, gee. Oh, I didn't know I had moves like that. Hot pot how? Sing a hot pot rap. Okay, I need a beat. Give me a beat. Make a beat. Can you make a beat like a beatbox? That's a clap. Yeah. You gotta make a beat. You gotta make one that rhyme. All right, here we go. You gonna make a beat for me? Come on, make a beat so we can rhyme. Come on, hit it. You gotta keep going. I don't know how to do it. He don't know how to make a beat, y'all. It's up to Hot Pot Howard. Oh, you ready to freestyle? You got a freestyle. You ready? You don't know how to freestyle? All you gotta do, whatever comes to your head, just say it. You ready? Yeah. I think Joanne. He, he don't know, he don't know. We gonna try Joe in. Freestyle, freestyle, go Joe in. Huh? Oh, she said hot pot first. I got a haircut, you guys. And look at my hair, y'all! Oh my God! Oh my God, look at my hairline! They pushed me all the way back. My hairline was here. Look! Look at the separation. They got my size and he just went ham. Hey, I said, yo, you about to cut off my dread stop. Oh my god. Yo. Matt, what up, man? Playmaker hoops. What's popping complex sports? What up? So I gotta tell y'all an experience of mine, and it's okay. Experience is the best teacher in life, always. And I'm gonna give you a funny story and I don't care to talk about it. So I decided that I wanted to get a haircut. I got a haircut, you guys. And look at my hair, y'all. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at my hairline. They pushed me all the way back. My hairline was here. Look, look at the separation. Oh my God. They pushed me way back. One, two, three, way back. Two, two, three, way back. And then when I tied my hair up, it just made me go back even further. Oh, they got my size and he just went ham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yo, you about to cut off my dread stop. Oh my God. It was crazy. Shake me up a little bit, clean my hair up, but I still got my hairline pushed back, so it's gonna be way back here for probably about a week and a half. Next time I see that bottle, <laughs> hey. But I still love you, dog. I know you never cut my hair before. It is your first time. You probably was a little nervous. So we gonna let you get a pass, bro. And it was an experience for me. So remember I said experience is the best teacher. Oh my God. I learned my lesson, y'all. I learned it. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. <laughs> I learned my lesson. My forehead ain't never looked this big, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I still love you, dude. I know you messed up my hair, and most people will get really, 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 really upset if somebody messed up their hair. 
but you know what? It's okay. My hair is going to grow back. <laughs> it could have been worse. You're right. He could have really took a dread off. He was about to take one of my take one of my locks off. He says, I say, yo. And I didn't know how to say the word in Mandarin. How do you say stop in Mandarin? Ting Shu? Ting Shu. I didn't know how to say Ting Shu. I was saying stop. He thought I was saying keep going. Saying, it's Ting Shu. Ting Shu. Ting Shu. How are y'all doing today? I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing, amazing day. Despite my hair looking like this, I love it. You say my soul. Oh, you say my soul hallelujah thank you supreme cuts uh i think it's called taiwanese sweet apple look, look, look at it so it's like an apple it's right here it said talk about it okay okay we gonna talk about it boom the taiwanese sweet apple is really really sweet it has seeds in it so I normally would tell you with the seeds to take the seeds out. So um, what I'm going to do is read some of the messages. Of the, uh, it was some great messages from fans and some real touching messages. I've been watching you play basketball for 2014 now. You always keep positive and smiling even in a very tough situation which encourages me to face the difficulty in my life. Even more, you decided to come to Taiwan and show your dedication and passion to basketball no matter where you play or who you play with. You really inspire not only Taiwanese basketball players, but also fans that what's the right attitude to live your life. Oh, it's, it's really good. I said a Benjamin's. Ah, Lord. You got a Benjamin's. Yeah. When you at the free throw line. What do I like most about most in Taiwan? All right, the people. Yeah, I'm getting a massage and it hurt my leg. Ah. But are you still upset about you? I was never upset about my hairline. He just ain't never did it before. He ain't experienced how to cut hair like mine. So you know what? Experience is the best teacher. He ain't never cut no hair like this before. Not no Super Saiyan locks. These locks is hard to cut. He thought you had to cut me like a goat. Shave my hair like a goat. So he just shaved it off. And it's okay. It's okay. We're going to get him right, man. We're going to learn. We're going to help him learn how to do it, man. How do you say, um, have a good day? What in the Jesus? What? Say that again. Who? May how the T N like that? One son how? Did they have a good night? Okay, okay, I ain't lovely. How tall, man? How tall, man? How to keep positive energy all the time? Well, in order to probably keep positive energy, you gotta have a lot of patience with yourself. The more patient you become, the more peace you will have in your life. It's hard to be patient sometimes because we all want things to happen right away. It's like when you lift weights, you want muscles the first day. But the first day, you ain't going to get muscles. You just start lifting weights. You got to keep doing it and be consistent at it. And the more consistent you'll be, you start seeing the change. Like, oh my God, my shoulders look like white Howard. I got no white Howard muscles. Oh my God.